so we just made it to Seoul. It is 5.40 a.m. right now. I am so tired and I think you can tell. I just came straight from Manila and we landed like super early here. Yeah, it's not gonna be an easy day, but we're going palace hopping today because the palace is closed tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday and then they close Tuesdays too. So today's the only day that I have to do palace hopping. Just lining up for the bus. Everything is just so organized here. We purchased the bus tickets inside. There's this like little ticket machine. Then we just bought the tickets and now there's like these little stations for each of the buses that we have. Everything is so easy and organized. I'm already in love with Korea. <laughs> just so many coffee shops everywhere and they're all like super cute one is like cuter than the other and it's super hard to decide which one to go I think that's why cafe hopping is actually a thing here it's like uh, I don't know if you can see it but every place is a different vibe and I love it also another thing that I've been noticing about Seoul is that it just it's just so clean you cannot find, like the streets are spotless. Completely different vibe than Paris and New York. <laughs> were secured I got myself a little fragrance that store is just so cute and people are just so nice I mean, all the fragrances are like really different than what you would find usually from like big brands so I'm really happy with my purchase they also have things for the house if you're interested so really cute and they also ship worldwide worldwide the girl told me so it's good to know so now we're looking for a place to have lunch we're gonna try typical korean dumplings and we just need to walk like around 10 minutes to get to the restaurant I'm starting to get a little hungry i only had a donut today and some coffee so some food will be very welcome It was so good. Now we're walking to the second palace of the day. I think we're running a little bit behind schedule on our palace hobby day. We're heading out to the second one, which is right here. I can see it. And it's super crowded. We bought the inclusive ticket, like the com the combined, the combination ticket for four palaces today. So this is gonna be the second one. And apparently if you just visit two, you kind of pay off the whole combination thing. So we're visiting the second one now and we're gonna see if there will be time for a third one. We've already walked a 
over 20k steps today. So it's hardcore. through this like very hip neighborhood it's called Ixion I'm butchering all the Korean names so don't come back for me a lot of things just open at 10 30 so we had a little bit of a late morning like a late start to the morning today um, we put it, put our names down in a restaurant right in front of a coffee shop I'm gonna put the name below because I just don't remember um, but it's kind of like a Korean barbecue style restaurant that's very competitive to get in so we put down our names it's like 11 30 now and we got like a spot for 12 50 so we're heading down to a shrine that's near the neighborhood that we're, we were in to visit the shrine and then we're gonna come back here for lunch and some coffee and then we're gonna stroll around a little bit more no big plans like yesterday just kind of like a free day to enjoy the city the weather's really nice it's not so cold as it was yesterday I'm excited for the day today so we're lining up now for the shrine apparently there's only guided tours available on weekdays Today's a weekday. If you come here, make sure that you get the combination ticket if you're planning to going, if you're planning on going like inside the palaces and um, the shrines. Like if you're going to multiple places, the combination ticket is really, really worth it. So now we're waiting. Like the tour is gonna start in like four minutes. It's the second mandatory guided tour that we do. Like yesterday was the secret gardens, and now it's the shrine. Sometimes they're just mandatory. And there's nothing you can do. We had to literally flee the tour because we're late for the restaurant. We did like a very discreet Irish goodbye on the tour. Um, overall, it was very nice. It was a really nice place to visit, even though we had to leave earlier. And the main shrine building is under renovation, so you can't really see the main thing here. So it's something to, th to think about if you're planning on coming here to check if it's still under renovation because it's the main thing. But overall, really nice. this shopping street here and just a short walk away from the restaurant I wish it was a longer walk because we had so much food you don't really feel heavy with the food here I don't know if it's the ingredients or what is it that you don't really feel heavy so you can you know just keep eating all day long and you don't feel it um, but yeah we're kind of like walking to digest the food now
it's almost the evening here it's almost 7 p.m. actually I was expecting it to be darker by now but so we came to this area that's like supposedly full of shops full of bars and restaurants so it's closer to our hotel we took the train for like 40 minutes from where we were and it's close to Gangnam it's like we're 40 minutes away walking from our hotel um, which is way better than where we were before like super far and now we're on the like the right side of the river for our hotel so it's closer to go home after dinner so we're basically looking for a bar now to have a drink because we're not hungry we ate like tons of street food today um, so we're going to this bar which is apparently like kind of fancy with $25 drinks um, but we're gonna have one drink and then we're gonna go look for a place to basically eat fried chicken and have a beer which is like very Korean thing to do so yeah these are the plans for tonight While I get ready, let me tell you guys about some things um, to consider if you are thinking about coming to Seoul. First thing, Google Maps here only works when you're getting public transportation. Like it's great in recommending like subway lines to get. But I think there's some sort of prohibition here towards Google that it will never recommend walking routes for you. Even if you're five minutes walking from somewhere, it's still gonna recommend you to take public transportation. So you need to download an app called Naver. So that app will recommend you like all sorts of different routes and even like walking routes also to wherever you need to go. And another thing, like before I was booking my hotel here, people were recommending that I stayed in Gangnam. Even local Korean people that I know would recommend that I get, a, get that I got a hotel in um, Gangnam or like around Coex but honestly I don't think it's worth staying in this side of the town because most of the things like if you're if it's your first time in Seoul and you want to go to the touristic attractions like the palaces um, the little like Korean villages they're more situated on the north you need to get like an hour an hour and ten uh, of subway every single day to go to these places and that's where you walk for the most part of the day i didn't walk much in this neighborhood here today's gonna be the day that i do that i guess but yeah i my tip my advice would be do not stay in gangnam um look for other cute neighborhoods that are more north of Seoul, if that makes sense. Also, subway ticket machines only accept cash, so make sure that you withdraw some money before getting to uh, getting uh, public transportation. So I'll probably go to the clinic and then head straight out to you know enjoy my last day in Seoul. So I'm bringing my little kit of essentials with me. I'm bringing like my sunscreen because I don't know if they put sunscreen on you after the treatment. Another sunscreen, but this one isn't like powder. Um, some concealer and my brush to apply the sunscreen, the powder sunscreen. Because this neighborhood that I'm in right now is full of aesthetic clinics. If there's a right place to do it, this is the right place to do it. Um, so I'm looking for a cute little coffee shop to kill some time before my treatment starts at 11. It's 9.50 right now so I have plenty of time but 
the cutest cafes in the neighborhood they only open at 11 a.m so that's also another thing to keep in mind if you're planning to come on weekdays coffee shops will open mostly at like 11. Subway for an hour and a half to come to this place to the star field in Goyang to go to a traditional Korean jinjibang, the Korean bath. And this was apparently one of the best ones in town, so it was a little bit far from the center. So we took the subway, it took us a long time to get here. Um, but here we are. We're hoping it's open and it's not closed, and we didn't come all this way for nothing but I'm really looking forward to it because I could use some relaxation after walking so much these past few days so I'm really looking forward to the experience actually so let's see how much I can film inside but I hope I can show you guys everything
relaxation time is officially over. So I grabbed some lunch on the way out of the Jinjibang and then took the subway for about 40 minutes. And now I'm here right outside the National Museum of Korea. I'm kind of running out of things to do here in Seoul, so I think a nice museum rest of the afternoon will be nice. And then I'll probably walk to back to the village that I was yesterday, like last night, for some pastries. And then maybe some drinks and some Korean barbecue, maybe. I'm basically just enjoying my last few couple of hours here in Seoul got myself some bubble tea at the mall now I'm honestly a little bit lost on where I am there's a shrine right in front of my hotel that I really want to go to well I mean not really want to go to but it's what I have to do right now so I'm like trying to find my way here I guess I'm just gonna head back to the hotel um, to the shrine that's right in front of it that seems actually really nice I didn't have time to go up until today but I'm basically heading to the airport in about three hours my flight leaves like very late at night so I have plenty of time to kill still my bus leaves for the airport at around 7 and it's like 3 p.m. right now I had some lunch Today was very slow, it was basically just um, doing some bureaucracies to you know, get ready to leave. So I came here to buy my ticket for the bus later on. If you're here in Seoul, like the airport is super far, but the bus works, like the system works very well. There is a limousine bus that you can take and it works perfectly. That's how I came once I arrived in Seoul, like from the airport to the city. It dropped me off like very close to my hotel. So that's I think that's the best way depending on where you're staying for the bus that will take me to the airport and everything is just so organized it's so impressive and the boarding will begin four minutes uh, before the scheduled depart departure time of the bus so and it closes one minute before the scheduled time so super organized and I'm pretty sure it's also really punctual so it's good that I'm here like almost half an hour prior yeah, I just wanted to come in here and thank you guys so much for watching this vlog I did not charge my camera at night so I just ran out of battery but I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I hope you made it this far and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye. Bye.